So when we're thinking about bacterial genomics and we've sequenced a genome, or we're analyzing a genome, like you guys are analyzing the Klebsiella genomes, there's several ways that we can try and identify antibiotic resistance genes. There's a few good databases. There's a database called CARD, the Comprehensive Antibiotic Resistance Database, which is online at card.mcmaster in Canada. And this is a, a database that has about 2,500 sequences of genes that are important in antibiotic resistance. There's another database called ResFam. And ResFam is a combination of CARD, the same database that I just mentioned, and it has the lactamase engineering database, where people are looking at lactamase genes. And it has some curated beta-lactamase genes. And you can find ResFAMs at dantaslab.org slash ResFAMs. And then, not strictly an antibiotic resistance database, but another one that's quite useful and important when you're thinking about bacterial pathogens and disease is the virulence factors of pathogenic bacteria database, and that's available at um, www.mgc.ac.cn slash VFS, the virulence factors. Each of these databases has different obviously protein sequences, but they have mechanisms where you can take a genome or some proteins from your annotated genome or some components from your genome and compare them to their databases and they'll identify whether you have antibiotic resistance genes in your genome, for example. Of course, we need a little pinch of salt here because just because you find a protein that, mean, that looks like it's a resistance protein doesn't mean the bacteria that you're analyzing is resistant to that antibiotic.